There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. What was that? I don't know. We're live. We're live. Puffin oh, look at that. that kisses. Bad. Puffin smells good. Yeah. Yo, did he go to the groomers today? No, he hasn't been to the groomers all winter long. It's too cold. He's got to have his coat. Oh, that's, that's very cute. Yes, you know, I do you wash some... him at home? I wash them at home in the bathtub. Yeah. Yeah. You and yeah. Brooke and you guys will get in there together. Yep. <laughs> yep. It is a tight squeeze. That's but yeah, really no. Nice. No, Puffin That's loves it. He's also choosing what's what um, what subjects to study in school. <laughs> I'm just letting him decide. So it turns out he wants to be a cat. <laughs> um, and I'm like, study it. You know. Oh, yeah, it yeah, out. yeah. Do what you got to do. You got to be able to do the thing where you take the fish. And you put it in the mouth and bling, 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 and you pull it out with just <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's, he's studying that. He's also great at going to the bathroom in the house. So that's what cats do. Yeah. So that's what he likes, you know. Um, oh, first what, of all, what, before what, we what? start, so this is Titty's mandate tonight. Yeah. Thank you for doing all the work, Titty's. Hey, Thank what's you. That, what's that classy cap that you're wearing there? What does that one say? It says Beer Drinkers Hell Razors. <laughs> <laughs> I like his hat, man. That's a good hat. Yeah, you know, it helps defeat the um, the gray cloud of death that is slowly filling every corner of my life. Of course, of course it does. But first, um, what I'd like to do is congratulate Marcus uh, Parks uh -oh. on fucking doing the fucking thing. Another mm. fucking stallion in the fucking stable. Wow, dude. stallion Woo. in the stable. Park Woo. your horse, my friend. Woo. Pick me in the barn, friend. Hitch your I am ready to graze. Say it's goodbye to Puffin for now. See you soon. I heard he went over to the fucking blacksmith to get his ball and chain fitted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Everyone's been very, very nice. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now, this is actually a true story. If they he, would he, be, I feel like it would be the opposite if, like, if it was people were like, "Fuck you." Well, I'm sure there's a lot of ladies out there who <laughs> lost another man on the meat market today, Whoa. or on Sunday, really. But um, this is actually true. He proposed. He bought a thing of Vlasic pickles. Yeah. And he put them in the fridge in the back, 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 back. And then he put one of them, but he opened it and he put one ring on one of the pickles. Is this and he true? Said, yeah, that's true. He said, Carolina, Carolina, I'm busy doing Carolina. all of the work. Carolina, I'm... And then she went like... Oh, no, no, no. And then... <laughs> yeah. And so he's also he's also the first widow. Yeah. Um, which is sad. She hit, she did pass. She's... That's, that's, hey, man, guess what, man? Got out clean. Got out clean. In and first out. First one done. Got first in puzzle. Out. In and out. In and, and out. Plaka, plaka, plaka. And guess what? Now you get all that widower fucking book. Uh-oh. <laughs> but literally just that. No person is attached to it. Those <laughs> Ziploc bags of bush, which, you know. Yeah, um, a lot of people no. are saying they're really happy with you for you he Thank actually you was much. it was a very classy uh, very classy proposal oh, yeah. no was involved whatsoever none whatsoever i took her out to a, a nice italian dinner and then i proposed in a washington square park where we have had many special moments together that's what you want you want a big belly full of gnocchi and yeah, spaghetti yeah. and ravioli yeah. Yeah. and then we get a round of applause from two korean tourists oh, oh. and then they're like these that just stay with you <laughs> right. Please let, us, please let us stay in America. Yes. Well, with any luck, they think you're a crisis actor, which is possible. <laughs> um, all right. You don't. Hey, man. This is not my. Hey, this ain't my fucking my rodeo tonight, man. Oh, I know. Well, I'm, having, I'm having root beer tonight, man. I, I see that. You know what? I like diet A and W root beer. Yeah. It, it's better than A and W. Diet Dr Pepper is better than Dr Pepper, and that diet A and W is no. better than diet and A. No. Uh, diet Dr Pepper is fucking it, awful. It is much, much better. No, I it's like it. Better. I actually no. do. I like will it, drink Doctor Thunder before I drink Diet Dr Pepper. But. Why don't you just admit to being a child molester? <laughs> <laughs> Heavy accusations <laughs> being laid out from the West Coast. <laughs> All right, yes, it's Travis. Travis it's yeah, your mandate. Me. I, I, yeah, enough. Let me start with the question. I'm, I'm a, I actually am wondering this. Is this a generational thing? Because you guys are just a couple years older than me. Uh -huh. How many times have you seen Shrek? Uh, five to six. I, saw, I, I, I think I saw the original Shrek 
twice? I think I've seen it twice, yeah. I haven't seen it on television quite a bit. I also have nieces and nephews, so there was a lot of Shrek around. Yeah. yeah I know I mean, the Shrek meme is a thing with the, the younger. Well, uh -huh. that's, right. that's it, because it's like it has become such a weird sort of subculture thing for people in like their 20s now because mm -hmm. it was so big. I've seen Shrek probably 37 times. Okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like just because I had like baby sisters and they watched it in the van and like on the Oh, you DVD. had a night you had one of those vans. Yeah. I remember we had one of those vans those too, cool. VHS. DVD. Oh, yeah, so, CDs. We had VHSs. So now like, you know, Shrek is a little bit like Mickey Mouse and has his own like he he's entered the mainstream culture in that way. Mm -hmm. um, so let's have a. It's kind of uh, like how well, Sonic that, found a, a new life. Yeah. With all the sexual memes. with fetish stuff. Yeah. Well, we, yeah when yeah. we did Heidi Klum's Halloween party, she was dressed as female Shrek, and then Shrek was Shrek. As Fiona, Princess Fiona. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> female <laughs> Shrek. Female Shrek. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Lady Shrek. Lady. Shrek. That's how like Mark when when Marcus marries Carolina, Carolina becomes Lady Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> she already kind of is yeah. Lady Ooh, It's 2019. Uh -oh. Things are different. Things are different. <laughs> uh, so let's have a Shrek party. Okay. Oh, Shrek. Oh, my God. This, I, I am so with this kid. Get out of here, you monster. This kid is making all the right choices. He is a survivor. He wins the game. Why is this acceptable? Why are you this green demon giving me a key to a child? Come here. Come here. This man must be feel so dejected. I think no, he dude. loves it. You're scaring the child. That's what happens, man. It's good for that kid to experience this now. I don't think that these parents need to be training their kids to take candy from Shrek. <laughs> oh, my God. I love how horrible. The, all of these kids are making the right choice. They are roughly handling this child, too. Just, I mean, like, take it, take it, go. Did they crack just pull it at him and shit? Well, it's just, it is one of the scarier Shrek. Go with female Shrek, Fiona. That would have been nicer. I don't know, bit... there's something about the big, luscious titties on female Shrek that they oh also... Oh, my God, that kid is freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I understand. He's like, am I going to become that when I grow up? You know what it is? It's the, <laughs> the shitty. It's the shitty type of costume too that is very. Oh friendly. yeah! No, he looks like he's about to rob a bank. Because he <laughs> like has he no. Like he doing a Nixon mask. He has no, like eyeballs. It's just two de dead holes. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's it's it's, it, it's Michael Myers had sex with Shrek, and this is their kid. <laughs> I love the fucking pandemonium on this whole thing. Honestly, dude, go back, take it off. It's obviously not working out. She's freaking out. This is why I want to start doing Coleman and an Onion Party, where you got a Shrek guy. You got one. Well, I'm gonna start dressing like this, just fucking high on PCP, oh and it's just nothing goodness. but onions. Why you are can they eat all the onions? Kid? I will Fuck say they are Oh my god! Of a Christmas <laughs> story. Take it out, hostage. Oh, oh, oh. Leave her the alone. kid doesn't want to be there. She doesn't no want Shrek. to be touched. It's not working. This man. Jeez. Ah. Oh my God, these poor kids are going to be traumatized for life because of Shrek. I mean, I, maybe they just haven't seen. They got to get Dora the Explorer in there. Oh <laughs> that my God, that is popping out from random places. <laughs> really getting horrified. Oh my God, think about this. Yeah, and then a dude just comes in in a Bill Clinton mask, like all the satanic ritual abuse shit. Well, that who knows? Been talking about. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ooh, you know, Shrek shit. was supposed to be played by Chris Farley, but he did a little thing called Overdose and Die, Die. which sucked. Um, and then Michael Myers got all of it. And Michael yeah. Myers, you know what? You know, I know he's Canadian and mm -hmm. we have to, like, love him and everything, but he treated Dana Carvey poorly when they were poorly. making Wayne's World because Dana Carvey was so great as Garth. Everyone loves Garth. Yeah, because Garth is the best part of the movie. Garth Dana is incredible. Carvey. I mean, you Dana have Carvey to have Wayne, got, but... Dana Carvey got attention without pushing. Yeah. Mike Myers wanted all the attention. And so he looked at Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey, everybody, he was beloved because he was a sweet man that was also naturally one of the funniest dudes in a room where Mike Myers is way more intellectual. Like, he's way more like, he. it's like, because Steve Martin was kind of the same way too. Well, where Steve ugh. Martin saw a gap in entertainment. He's like, I know how to, like, use my comedic brain you know to, what, man? to make it work. I am a little bit. He's a Steve Martin's a good musician. I actually like his music. I yeah, like yeah. folk. You know, I like folk music. Uh -huh. um, but I go back. You watch his old college stuff. He's putting arrows on his head. It was he's fun. doing King. I, I, I liked it. I liked it. I, Wait, I this mean, reminds last, me. Last week I talked about Robin Williams, and I, I was I was really you know almost murdered by Sean. the chat. Yes. 
I was shunned. Yeah. So I'm not going to take down another American comedic icon. But I, I can't like the be, music. We can't be canceled. This. No, controversial opinion. Steve Martin, better musician than he is a comedian. Now you can say he's not dead, so no one gives a shit. Okay. See, that's the difference. Is that he's still alive. We can slag him as much as he wants. But as soon as that white hair touches the pillow of that casket, we're going to have to be <laughs> shedding our crocodile tears, pretending like he's, he's our absolute favorite. But I do love him. What do I you do think, love Puffin? him. Ben, I tend to agree with you very much about Steve Martin. I think his music is wonderful. His comedy, I think, is a little cheesy. That's all. I think it's cheesy. That was See, puffin. that's fun. That's, that's very puffin. interesting. Yeah. I don't um, uh, I, one thing that, that Trek thing reminds me of is when I was in seventh grade. Not seventh grade. I was seven years old. We had a full-on, we had a Ninja Turtle party uh. for me at my parents' house. And we had to learn how to. It was like a bunch of kids in a, in a like outside waiting we didn't know when the Ninja Turtles were coming. I actually wasn't sure they were coming. All of a sudden, they came up. The first thing that happened was that April, April O'Neil was played by a black lady, which she had to describe. She had to ch sort of explain to a bunch of seven-year-olds about how, like, I can look like this and be April O'Neil. I think that's all, a like, good lesson. That's a good she, thing. But that's a hard, like, lesson about for the, like, for the Polish casting. Zabrowski's in Queens, no, but it was a mixed group because we we're from Queens, so it was like I knew kids. We were, we were all different, and so yeah. it's like sitting there, and we're all like, first of all, because we're just more about keeping the Ninja Turtles canon correct. You yeah. know what I mean? So most of us just like, <laughs> like trying to understand. But then at the very end, they go, Mike, uh, uh, Michelangelo, and Donatello. We follow them out because they play the, the song and they all leave like in the yeah. kind of like in Ghostbusters too, where they uh -huh. do the fucking birthday parties. And as they left, we're all outside. We followed him. We look, and we saw Michelangelo take his head off and put it into the back of the car. And everyone was just like, ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> had their fucking oh, minds man. broken. I'll never, I'll never forget the first time I met the fake Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at Piggly Wiggly. Uh, they were there, half-ass suits. Yeah. Horrible suits. And I yelled, and I yelled. And I, I was like, Mama, gotta go. Gotta go see the turtles. And then she's like, okay. And then okay. Uh, it was one of the first, it was one of those moments in life where you're like, oh, I understand. It's all been a lie. Disillusion. Um, immediately disillusioned. I was just yeah. probably seven. No, it must have been like, no, it was like seven. Yeah, seven or eight years yeah, old. That's a good age to learn that. Oh, I was just so pissed off. They didn't even have uh, elevated humps. It was just on the back of the, like, they didn't have the shell. Oh, they just wore a backpack? No, it was just like a thing, like a piece of fa fabric. Hmm. I don't even know how Piggly Wiggly let him get away with that. Okay, let's keep, <laughs> let's keep the theme. I don't. <laughs> let's the, keep the theme of children's entertainment going. going and uh, so this is actually what passes for, like, a child's entertainment YouTube video right now. Is this real? Yeah. If they all start having sex with for each other you. or not. For you. Yeah, chicken. Well, that's good to learn Spanish. That's, I can no, learn Spanish. This I'm shit was battle. made by fucking... This shit was made don't by, go. like, Turkish prisoners. <laughs> it's not really for children. Well, I wouldn't go in there. Don't that doesn't go. seem like... Don't go. It's gonna get, definitely gonna get wet. Oh, yo. Alligators! Hey! Honestly, I totally get this. This is wonderful. If I met any of these Cocodrino. creatures at seven or eight years old, I would love them. Cocodrilo. Yeah. Cocodrino? Fantastic. That's great. I am so, you know, my, my, my niece is bilingual. I think she's actually, I think she knows French too. Yeah. I'm just an idiot. We got to know Spanish. You got to learn Spanish. I got to learn Spanish. We were Spanish. taught nothing. We, no, we were, were taught I was, I we was were... raised by a television. Yes, yeah. our parents were like, well, you know what? By the time that they grow up, we'll be speaking like no words. So it doesn't even matter. The <laughs> fact that we're teaching them English, they're no, going to be the weren't. smartest kids around. I will actually say the opposite because I remember distinctly being told by several teachers, uh, when you're an adult, you're not going to be walking around with a calculator in your pocket. So you must learn how to do this trigonometry. And I was being like, I just want to be a different person every day with hats and wigs on. <laughs> As long as you get it right, like Mrs. Doubtfire. I love it. Well, that that's great. You want to be bilingual. You want to be or bilingual. Or at least trilingual. I want to learn German and Spanish. Why don't I just buy a guy to speak Spanish for me? Well, that's another. That's creating jobs. It's called a translator. That's a translator. That's creating jobs. For a person, a translator, what if we just start pretending not being able to speak English and just go, oh, well, uh, you got a guy next to you being said, he's saying he wants a cheeseburger. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I defy you to translate what is going on in this scene. Dude, hey! I've seen these before. That's a belly. Oh, That's me. a belly. I haven't seen this in forever. 
in the in the late 80s, early 90s, this, this was, was the thing. tops. Yeah. This was a thing in the late 80s, early 90s for some yeah. reason. I this do is not the, know why. Because it's incredible. <laughs> well, I don't know about this part. Now I don't now I would be at, left out of the room here. Now they are hitting their Oh, I they, oh it's yeah. fun. It is just different. You. <laughs> what is, is this like a Slovakian wedding? What is going on here? I'm pretty certain this is a Polish funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There's just, it's just regular old pots. I mean, are they going to yeah. be used again? You know what? I just say whatever keeps them from touching their, their nephews and their nieces. <laughs> what? I know what this is. What is that? This is a talent show. Oh, they're doing the, they're doing the, um, what was the name of when all those chubby Irish people got naked and everyone's like, Full yeah, Monty. Monty. Full Monty. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. It was I a different that. time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because because we I, saw what happened with Adam Levine taking his shirt off, double nips, and horrible tattoos. I, I was so, so upset about that being like, I heard he had a mocha brown nipples, and I tried to make it on time. Someone I heard, I saw mocha brown nipples, and nipples, 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 on Twitter feed, and by the time I turned to the fucking halftime game, it was over. Dude, it was the worst halftime show, worst Super Bowl, I didn't get literally to see any of his moves. I didn't get to see him move like Jagger. He didn't even I didn't have get to moves. see him sing no, all the hits. No, he didn't move like Jagger. He moved like, he moved... Well, honestly, he did like does move he like do Jagger, this? but does he no, he does do not peacock. Move the, the... No, he doesn't peacock. But that's, he just takes that his is shirt. Jagger. No one asked him to take his shirt off. That's all I'm saying because he's got horrible tattoos. They don't even go together. They don't real make bad. any sense. Yeah, they're real bad. They're horrible. Yeah. Just as California's not... chest. He looked. I I put a hot tweet out there that said he looks like a white supremacist in prison. Got one point two thousand little loves. Wow, <laughs> look at they you. They loved it. Are you an influencer? Do you have the like a tag being like this tweet brought to you by Nestle? <laughs> like at the Pretty end soon. of it, but no, Adam Levine seems to. Uh, but yeah, but I guess there was one song I didn't saw, sing, and then it just. Um, I don't know, man. Big boy was only out there. Big boy B O I uh -huh. was but only out there of, for like 14 seconds, and he drove in and drove out. Doing the uh, Super Bowl, Natalie and I watched that Hellier show. We watched that show about the Kentucky do uh, Gobbles. Well, yeah. honestly, buddy, I I'm sorry because I yelled at you at the start of um, our last episode when we did Mangle Up Part Three. But the LA Rams suck, and yeah. so it's good that you're that you didn't watch because it would have turned you off forever. Last year's Super Bowl was incredible, or I guess two years ago now was incredible. Mm -hmm. This this was horrible. Yeah. This, this year was horrible. I got engaged instead of watching the Super Bowl. So somebody's better than everybody. <laughs> I guess so. Yep, that's wow. what I did. Hang that over our head. Why did you miss my Super Bowl party, which I ended up watching in a bar anyway with friends because no one was going to come over, and I knew that. Then my question is, is that so did you drop your knee and then Carolina's like, what's the score in the third quarter? Did she do that or was she interested in the in the engagement? <laughs> well, she was very interested in the she was very uh, present. Okay, good. Now this is a this is a question I have for the other folks that got engaged. I know that uh, Henry dropped to a knee and then and then Natalie did say yes, but then it took him about 50 minutes to stand back up. <laughs> uh. I do have a bad right knee though. Yeah, mm. but now did you check for pebbles? Because this is my only <laughs> advice to Marcus when scouring what part of the mm -hmm. disgusting heroin needle riddled fields of New York City that you want to propose in, you got to check for pebbles because if you get a pebble in the knee, even if it's a small pebble. That, that oh, you're fucked. The whole thing. You're fucked for the, the night. Thing. It's yeah. over. So, yeah. but you didn't. You said you didn't even check for pebbles. I didn't check for pebbles, and we did like about. I would say, 15 seconds before I proposed, did get a coke, coke, smoke, coke, right in the middle of Union Square. Really? Uh, Washington Square. Yeah. Washington I'm glad Square. Shit's still, at least part of it hasn't changed. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. those got the coke, coke, smoke, smoke guys. Those. Green, those green, guys green, never green, leave. Green. And they have yeah, neither of ever, those things. Have no. you ever bought drugs in Washington Square Park? Uh, I, I did it with Eddie one time. Yeah. It's not real. We got real weed. The we cocaine weed. I bought was extremely real. Oh, yeah, yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, weed. Yeah, way back in 2006. Oh, oh yeah. Thought yeah, back, the, back when the city still had a smile on its face. <laughs> but the you walk over there, <laughs> But you had to like, do a thing where it's like, I saw Eddie, like he walked up to the guy and then went like, they had, like slapped each other kind of like Wait, a thing. And I a guess second. that was him giving the money. It was like Eddie walked up and he was just like, and the other guy was like, green, 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 green. And Eddie went up to him and just went like, they went like, like these kind of slap <laughs> side hands. You and, and Eddie, then, at that time, Eddie were a combined weight of a WWE tag team like Demolition, yes, like a combined yes. weight of 250, so 500 comes, pounds. Eddie circles all the way back around going like, all right, we got, we just got to follow this guy, we got to follow this guy. And I was just like, all right, so it's like, we just follow behind this other guy, and it's the most obvious shit in the world of a guy just literally going like, <laughs> <laughs> like walking down the thing and then it just like he slips it like this and the little packet of weed would ping 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 behind him um can 
First of all, that man is extremely trusting of white people who look like cops. Um, <laughs> we did I not look like cops at the time. Are you sure? No, they were too big for cops back then. Are you, Even are you kidding me? For New York, New York City cops aren't as big as they were back then. Oh, I don't know no, about all that. I had that. a full on fucking. I had a. Thank you. I had a full on. Like, I think I had like a half goatee. That was when I was real rough. <laughs> real rough looking. I don't know. You know. No, we had a very New York engagement. We went and had, had Italian food. We saw a rat, we got offered cocaine, and then we got married. Look at that. Well, he didn't get married, he got engaged. Engaged, engaged. Yeah, you yeah. gotta make it through this little fucking moat of horror. Yeah, yeah. you're getting to start talking about napkins yeah. and flowers. Yeah, get used to talking about napkins there, buddy. Good <laughs> lord. And napkins. All I know is, who's the best man? We gotta start that competition right away. Who uh, is it? Not gonna Who be one. Not having, not having all that hullabaloo. Such a cop-out. Yeah. Such a cop out. Yeah. Gotta choose one. Technically, yeah. it, would it, have to be it wouldn't be either one no, of you anyway. It would be what? one of my brothers. Brother. It would be. Oh, the people who used to beat you up call you a nerd? You called me a nerd. I never beat you up. <laughs> I've never beaten you up. <laughs> no, you've never beaten me up. You've insulted me personally. Yeah, you oh. did. You remember when we you power bombed both of us in the hotel room in OKC and we got yeah. the cops called on us? This year. Oh, in yeah. 2018, fucking yeah, three months like, ago. That I was did like four forget. months ago. No, it wasn't a beat. It was a power bump on a bed. And it yes, was. the police were called. Yeah. But they were just doing their job. And they were extremely nice to us. They were extre They were very, very understanding. Especially when they opened up the door and the weed smoke and bowling out their <laughs> ass one. We're now, titties, you got to take control. Well, this is, we're just fucking sitting here doing old man portrait. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, if you need someone to perform at the reception, um, might I recommend this hypnotist? Ooh. Ooh, a hypnotist. Ooh. Oh, that's such a... More, more, more. <laughs> oh, my God. 25 Thirty times stronger. Mm. Oh my you goodness, buddy. Breath. I'm not sure if we need to do this on a s it's a bridge. It's amazing. Why? <laughs> <laughs> And when I set my fingers next time, you're gonna have orgasm. This is why you can't be friends with an amateur magician because they have to do this with you. Okay. Oh, he's okay. Oh my god, he's like Richard Dawkins from the family feud. I don't know about this, man. Again, it's amazing, it's wonderful. It's the best feeling you've ever had in your world. He's gonna be the only street performer to get me too. That's incredible. Good for I, him. Good I feel for like him. if you do just do a cursory look into most of the lives of street performers, they would immediately get me to. Yeah. Well, honestly, there's a great documentary. What's it called? Superheroes? It's all about the dudes who play superheroes yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. L.A. Check that out. A Superman in real life is very sad. Yeah. Very, very sad. It is yeah. incredible, though. And... Honestly, I understand they get upset if you don't get if you're not getting the tip, mm -hmm. but they will fucking kick your ass. They will fight like, you. The dude who's the Incredible Hulk is like that big, and he like straight up just starts walloping someone, dude, for not giving them fifty cents. You just don't touch these people. No, you don't never. touch them. Don't when touch the guy him, in the dirty Elmo costume comes up to you to touch, Whoa. can you remember that? That was like the thing with Times Square. I don't know how many times it just would go no. Like you just you have, have to, to if you if you, you properly do it, literally. Not, this is a tip. The thing about New York is that if you don't want somebody to fuck with you, a really good way to stop it is to just no exaggeration go no. Yeah. No, like you act like a fucking crazy you have person. Scream at them. Yeah. And it, it neutralizes it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they'll usually apologize. Stop, stop it! <laughs> stop <laughs> it! <laughs> you have to sound like an unhinged person. No. Oh yeah. And also yeah. like. <laughs> Slap yourself. No! No! Honestly, why do parents bring any kids to Times Square? Talk about like you know when you when you realize it's all make believe and nonsense, and everyone is actually just trying to hustle you out of money. That's when you do it. Have you been to Times Square recently? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. It's, it's not good. It's, it's rough. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. really rough. It's sad. It's just you know what's hard too about Times Square is that I I mean this is awful to say out loud, and I probably shouldn't. It's just like uh, it's like begging for a disaster. 
<laughs> oh, yes. No, it really like, is. As yeah. you walk through Times Square, you're like, I just got to get out of here before whatever is going to happen. Whatever. Gonna yeah. You got to yeah. get lucky. Get out of there. Yeah. Get out of there fast. Yeah, it's My quite gosh. awful. It, it, it definitely fills you with a sense of dread and doom. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of the Mexican joint, though, that I like to go to every now and again. It's on the corner Never there. Chipotle? Not <laughs> Chipotle. No, not Steve Carell's character from The Office going to Sabara. Um, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's another chain. Well, uh, uh, El Chico's. No, not El Chico's. El Chico's is in a mid midtown. No, 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 no. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, oh, it's good. it's right there in the corner by the M and M's. Abuelos. No, you see big M and M's on there's a Mexican. This is the worst radio show that's ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That's where you see big M and M's. Time, okay, so Times Square is a New York City icon, but Andy Warhol is also a New York City icon, and I found this video just very interesting because it might be the first um, podcast ever. Oh, is okay. this him and Burroughs? I like is the uh, biscuits and gravy. Right. Yeah, I never had a chicken fried steak. That sounds like a great We can go to the Alamo Cafe anytime you want. Really? That's, that's actually a steak. Yeah, we like all these guys. Oh, really? It's it's not a tenderized steak. Oh, really? Kind of They're awesome. having the same oh, conversation no. we have. <laughs> yeah, but they think he's a genius. What? what? <laughs> a big thing of some kind of beans or peas and stuff. Oh, that sounds so really slop great. Slop it up and spoon oh. Well, mashed potato well. and beans are my favorite. Good steaks with it. Never answer those. Yeah. So this is this the Andy first Warhol. So right in the middle of dinner now. Uh, it's pretty, tension here is pretty weird. Andy Warhol is wearing a pair of headphones, which he brought with him and hasn't taken off since he sat down. <laughs> artists are just artists. William Burroughs is looking fairly relaxed. He's wearing a beautiful pearl gray suit, and Warhol is telling him that he is the best dressed man in New York, and he admires his look more than anyone else's. Why Burroughs, is he doing play-by-play? Play? <laughs> with this kind of chic approach, has given Warhol a copy of his new book, Cities of the Red Knight, a proof copy. What? Wait, can you do drawings? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. Titans. That's, that's titans. Perfect. Titans of art. That's just all of us. Yeah. <laughs> that's they're, just, like what? they're just like us, Ben. Uh, just well, like I us. You see People different. Magazine. No, no, no. It's the opposite. They're just like People Magazine. You know what it is, too, is that heroin makes you decidedly, like, not an interesting person. <laughs> but you think they're on heroin? <laughs> it's Burroughs. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, my Burroughs God. Is incredibly Burroughs does heroin? Interesting. I don't know. But he has a wonderful magical philosophy called, I believe it is either do easy or be easy. Maybe be easy, do well, easy. We used to do like word cutting a lot, right? He did a lot of magical, a lot of magical work. Um, yeah. And Burroughs is an interesting dude, but it's like you know, in his writing, I tried to reread Naked Lunch recently, and it just reminds me of homework. Reminds yeah. me of high school homework, so it's difficult for me to get back through it. I just love, is, in that video, Andy Warhol is basically the brother from There's Something About Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that baseball? He, he's literally beans. talking about pork and beans. Mm -hmm. You know, that guy, that actor, he's had a great career. He also played Meatloaf in the VH1 made-for-TV movie about Meatloaf. Yeah, and he, he was, was also... Very good. And this will blow your mind. It's Dan from Deadwood. Yeah, dude, that's Charlie. Yeah, it's from fucking Deadwood. Yeah. Hands to God. Wow. <laughs> but it is... it is like But we hear about these famous artists, and we like to, like... Oh, I wonder if you like it to fly in on that room here. With this one. <laughs> right, but it's that. literally just them just being like... Yeah, I was gonna go to um, I was gonna go to Arby's, but it was too far. No, I was gonna go to Arby's. I was gonna go to Arby's. I don't like how it sounds. Like Ar Ar Arby's is a pirate or some kind of pirate. A piratey <laughs> conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean literally, Andy Warhol just said he never had chicken fried steak. Which, how are you gonna make all of your money off of food paintings? And never have chicken fried steak. He didn't make all of his money on food the paintings. Soup. Is the one, soup. One paint. was That's the biggest one painting. Is the That's soup painting. <laughs> it's it a food very, painting. And, and, and he made all of his money off it. He never had chicken fried no. steak. It's no, cultural preparation of the foodie. No, you are saying this shit as if he was Guy Fieri, who said Fieri. I never had a chicken fried steak. But no, Guy Fieri has had many chicken fried steaks Guy, because the, that's what he does. No, he works it, in a rib-sticking food environment. It does Where this. Andy Warhol is 75 pounds, he lives on mayonnaise sandwiches, black coffee and cigarettes, and heroin. Yeah. And he's from, from well, New York and Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh and then goes to New York. His chicken fried steak is difficult to I, find outside no, of I am not surprised that Andy Warhol never had chicken fried steak. I'm that's really not, not a surprise. Well, if you're going to make your money off a of soup, Photos. <laughs> Maybe eat a little food that that is chicken fried steak related. It's, right. You just forget that chicken fried steak since has been proliferated in the last twenty years or so. Cracker Barrel. How titties? How long has Cracker Barrel been open as a as a uh, chain? 
I'm going to say this 1967. There's still not going to be a Cracker Barrel in New York City. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Let's go down to the Soho Cracker Barrel. 1969. 1969. 1969. But when Look was at the, that. When, was the, barrel, when was the Cracker Barrel in Jersey built? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to know because that's the one. Yeah. If they're going to go to a Cracker Barrel, it's going to be the New Jersey one. I guarantee you that it was in New York City at the time. Cracker Barrel's not in New York City now. It's not in New York City. It is. No. No, it it's is. in, there's it is no in New, New York, Jersey. There's no, there's not, are you going to go to the I Williamsburg think, Cracker Barrel? I think it was 69 for Jersey, actually. Mm. So there you go. So he's been there, and chicken fried steak is rolling out of their kitchens on a regular basis. Can you so. put Andy Warhol Cracker Barrel and see if there's any <laughs> pictures Let's of see. him near a Cracker Barrel? <laughs> because maybe he hasn't, maybe he didn't go to Jersey quite often. Mm. No. No. no, no, no photographic evidence at least. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like if he'd won, he would have gotten his picture taken. Well, he he loved being famous. Brad's wife? Uh, yeah, I don't could've... think Brad's wife has anything to do with Andy no, Warhol and so. Cracker Barrel. I don't know. No. All right. Well, let's just see a picture of chicken fried steak. Yeah. Oh, man. I you really just want to look at pictures of chicken fried steak. Honestly, if they can talk about it, we can talk about it. He's a legend. He painted soup. Yeah. Ooh. He made a lot of money painting soup. I yeah, know. That looks good. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Close yeah. Up. Oh, Close yeah. Up. yeah. I yeah. can do without the potatoes, honestly. Yo, you know what? No. I don't like anything yeah. but it. What I yeah, like is a chicken whatever. fried steak, but I don't like the bread to be too thick on it. I like it to be a little bit more kind of almost like a tempura. But what you mm -hmm. really want is the emphasis on the gravy. Mm. Yep, yeah. absolutely. And I love it with I mean, gravy. Chicken... Do you like gravy with ch sausage chunks in it, or do you like it smooth? I think it's smooth. I like it smooth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sausage it's chunks the... too much. I Unless like I'm having it with biscuits. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is a uh, I, this is a classic video, but it's just another example of celebrities kind of letting us down a bit. Oh well. <laughs> Bob Dylan has phoned in his entire life. <laughs> he tried one time. <laughs> this is like Donald Trump singing the national anthem. <laughs> Why do they make Bob Dylan come in? All Bob Dylan wants to do is sit at home. <laughs> Why are you yelling, lady? Oh, she's Bob just crying. Oh, lady, wow. stop. Everybody around me is yelling all the time. Mm. I wish they just let me sit in my coffin. It's nice Yeah, Bob that Dylan's got a coffin. Yeah, you have a coffin? I sit inside of a, sit of a couch. You know I'm going to be inside of my coffin. <laughs> Watching TV, playing a Nintendo. <laughs> inside of my coffin, got a little cushion in it. Mmm. I believe it. <laughs> Bob Dylan hates his fans. He hates his fans. That's what I know. Because he doesn't even play new. He doesn't play any of the hits. No, he's, he's, tired. he's like a golden lamb. He's out there looking for licks. Not me. I'm like a quiet bat. Bob Dylan, <laughs> looking to be solitary. Looking to be alone. <laughs> he is alone. What's I'm just Joan Baez. Joan Baez. Yeah, Joan Baez. Who's that? Singer song. You know Joan Baez. Joan Baez. Yeah, singer songwriter. I don't do not Joe, know. I don't he does Joni not. Mitchell. I don't think. Well, you like you like folk music. You would like Joan Baez. You'd love Joan Baez. You've heard Joan Baez. I'm you, sure I've heard her. You know, you. Is it a man I, or a woman? You know what? Travis Pope's and Joan Baez. Where'd you? Is it a man or a woman? It's, it's a, a woman. man named Joan. <laughs> oh, that happens. <laughs> Henry Zabrowski. That does happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why are you saying my name? I'm a man named Henry Zabrowski. No, I know, but I'm just saying Joan can also be a a, a, a man's name. Uh huh. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, put put her uh, her version of the night that drove the old Dixie down. Let's hear Can we is. contractually do this? It's on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love the night. Oh, yeah, put that on there. Yeah, the, the audience wants to see that, Travis. That's big time stuff. No, now she married. Uh, she was with Bob Dylan. Oh, look at that. I love that when they were the guitar band. It's like she's being haunted by a bigger version of herself. I think you're I like alienating the... the audience with this. 
Yeah, 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 all right, take it. Technically, you can say no whatever you want. We are. You gotta say, man. We are. We gotta keep these old guys alive. Sometimes I know you're all part of a new generation, and you like your SoundCloud, and you like your Cardi B being a senator. You can have all that, but you also gotta keep Joan Baez's memory alive. No, we're gonna listen to some. We're gonna listen to some real, real music. No, no. She's not dead. Oh, great. All right, time for some real music. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. Now. Hello, my name is Mr. Snrub, and I come from some place far away. Dankmas is really good. He's the best. All stuff is now available on Spotify. Really? Yeah, you can go. I've been listening to it. It's great. He's going through hard times, though. Why? Uh, YouTube demonetized him. They, why? Because he was using copyrighted material. It's fucking awful. Oh my god. I would god. actually recommend everyone out there, if you uh, if you enjoy his work, go give to his Patreon. Ugh, YouTube is like, whatever. And he's done great work for us. He also, uh, he did the Casey Anthony theme for our live show. <laughs> is this EDM? Would you say this is EDM music? No. I like Wayne. I like Smithers is low key one of my faves. Oh, he's great. I like Wayne. I like Wayne. Did Smithers ever get a good solid episode? There should be a full season arc for Smithers. Uh, well, uh, who shot Mr. Burns? He was pretty big uh, in those he two was episodes. Prominent. Yeah. And uh, what is it? The Malibu Stacy episode? Mm, he's also quite yeah. prominent in that as well. Okay. They could do more with him. Yeah. They could do more with Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I really you know think so. That and the that tall guy who's only seen one time. With the show's the very car. weird now. Simpsons is very oh. strange now. I don't know if it's even bad. It's just very strange. What's it all about? It's the same. It's just very, it's just, it does feel as if it has been going on for 30 years. What they mm. should have done is made Lisa a trumper. Mm. That would have flipped the script. Yeah, flipped the script. If she's going around wearing MAGA, she's back on it. She's making America great again. She's eating chicken fried steaks. Mm -hmm. She totally goes Trump. That's don't that take your, don't, take your, don't give that to chicken uh, to, the, to them. Don't give the fucking chicken fried steaks to them. Mm. Okay, fine. Chicken I mean, fried steak belongs to everyone. Yeah, yes. whatever they're eating, the, the donuts. That would have been <laughs> that would have been a great little season arc because yeah. then everyone would be very conflicted. Have you thought about sending in a spec script? Yeah. So like just yeah. at the doors of Fox. What we could do is the next time you come into town, we could just get your spec, spec script and we could just go to Fox Studios and just leave yeah. it outside of it. That's how you do it. Remember that when people thought that's how you broke into the industry? Free ideas. <laughs> Free ideas. Free ideas. <laughs> hmm. I like that. I like it that. Is, I don't know. I don't know how you get a, a writing job like that. I'm not sure. Do they make Homie a Trumper? Or no. Do they, have they not addressed no, it? No, they don't. I they make jokes. Okay. They make little goofs. They little make goofs. their fun little goofs. They make their fun you know, little... Homie in real life, of course, would be. I mean, Marge isn't going to... You call Homer Simpson Homie? I have a personal <laughs> relationship with him. <laughs> You've been calling him Homie? I you, always all, you always call him Homie? Were you thinking of Homie the Clown? No, From... I loved Homie the Clown, though. <laughs> that... Homie the Clown was funny. It's a great character. Great character. I here's think so. some, here's some comedy. Oh, this is one of my favorite shows, <laughs> and I haven't been able to see it in months. Here's some MAGA comedy. He looks like his. Oh, God, he look. You know what? Show. How could be? Yeah, show sure. it. He looks like um, like he's on the surface of Mars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's I it's hate, the, uh, I fucking hate him. Dude, this Ugh. show. So this show is freaking hilarious. They managed to set a new land speed record for careening from reasonable impersonation of a rational human being to full-on that poop loonies. Whoa! Now, by this time next Thursday, I half expect them to be climbing to the top of the Capitol Dome while screaming gibberish and waving flaming torches. Here's just a little recap Good of evening. their version of MAGA. <laughs> make America groan again. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I said, make America groan again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Always audience. remind them to laugh. Can Always we take them. a look at that audience yeah. one more time? What's, I mean, the, uh, what's the mean age here? Median age. <laughs> median age is probably <laughs> got to literally be 72. Literally at 72. Is this the neighborhood from the Black Hole Sun video? Like, it seems like it's <laughs> Honestly, Huck could be the. Oh, 
if you just start watching it, and then I, we used to watch old Christian programming all the time growing yeah. up and just laugh our asses off. I mean, it's hard now because they have someone in power. Yeah. Um, but my God, it is hilarious. And sometimes they bring on really good drummers. Uh, he'll play the bass. He brought, a, I think yeah. they had the. Um, oh, he's a bass player. Yeah, he was a yeah, bass Huck player. He he's a bass play player. The bass. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I could have told he was funky. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my yeah. Huckabee. You bear, saw that picture bear, with. Bear, oh, my goodness. Bear. Are you, you talking see, about the picture of him and his sons? Yeah. And and Travis, could family. you pull that out? I think oh, yeah, they look like the white clumps. I think we've talked about this. <laughs> it is, it is I mean, fucking, just... it is 4,000 pounds of shithead. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I know look everyone's seen it, this. but it's just, it's nice every oh once in a while to turn, return to a simpler time it's in American politics. Look if, at the... you, if they were crossing the street and you hit them with your, your Jeep Grand Cherokee, you'd fly through the windshield and they all go to the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> protected. I mean, they are protected. And yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's Sarah that's, Huckabee that's, Sanders, by the way, uh, the one on the right. That's Sarah Huckabee. Really? Let's see that again. Yes, we haven't seen it since I, she's got a much I more prominent her role. Yeah, I, hate so that's I don't even look at these press people. secretary there, right there. There you go. And one of those big boys killed a dog. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I bet my fucking that? sitting on it. <laughs> what they killed that dog? Not that dog. They, were, they apparently killed the dog, and uh, yeah, they're dog murderers. That's, that's horrible. Hmm. That's, that's horrible. great. Was this is great. Cool. Okay. I hate great. seeing them. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. You know, good, good, you know. But I'll tell you, that show is, it is good humor. Yeah. It is. Uh, you, Make you America heard it. Grown Again. Make America Grown Again, and then and they'll be out there with pitchforks and the, <laughs> they, their horse poop. And you just noticed that the donkey had the googly eyes on it. Oh, gosh. And the donkey is the symbol for the Democratic Party. Oh, you're now right. I get it. And you, yeah. you just didn't you're get the political your... humor. Yeah, it was so subtle. You oh. didn't get the political humor. Yeah. Hey, man, I do whatever. All right. I read enough. I just don't read the newspapers anymore. Mm. I read, I've been reading a lot of Ed the Happy Clown. Ed the Happy Clown is fantastic. What is that? Comic book. It oh. is fucking great. Oh, it's so good. So, so, so good. All right, check this out. Ah, oh my oh God, that is, <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> She wants to come in and do Oh my, no, don't, honestly, I don't know. Do we? Cammy, <laughs> go. What is it? It's a goat? Hello. Uh, yeah, you guys have any food right now? Oh my god. Cammy. I don't know. Is go. it? Go. Is it an earless goat? I think it's, it's cute. Back. It's super cute, but no, I, I wouldn't say don't let it in. No, let it in. No, it's definitely not. It is on like PCP oh, or something. No, it's gonna it's, eat your oh, face. Oh, it's a cute. He's looking for food. Sweet animal. My question I, is, you can't let like an animal like that in your house, right? Besides just a, a normal like the wear and tear it will do to like a normal person's house. But would they would they like hurt you? You think? Yeah. yeah. No, an animal like that? No, it wouldn't hurt you. It'd run away. It'd freak out. It might hurt the house. It might hurt you. If it runs away in the house, that's called when it destroys the house. Yeah. If a deer is freaking out, and I don't know, because I don't have any experience with anything outside of dogs and cats and uh, New York City animals. Right. Can you, like, like with a, a shark, can you, like, punch it in the head if it's fucking around? I don't. Like, if you deer's punch gonna, a deer in the head, will it stop? Deer's not going to come anywhere near you. No, nah, deers, will, deers no. are scared no, of deers human beings. Yeah, they'll, 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 hunting. yeah, yeah, yeah. Any deer that wasn't uh, scared of a human being, that gene was bred out long ago. Yeah, for the most part. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, because we, we would kill the ones that are yeah. familiar. Yeah, yeah we season's would. very serious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like a pest, though, at the same time, right? Don't they need they any are. sort of... We have to have coals. Uh, back home on the family ranch because there's too many of them. Yeah. You if you get... dress somebody up as, as a deer, is it legal to kill them when the cull comes? Absolutely. That's a good idea. The redneck purge. I that want is it. how you do it, folks. At least I'm not <laughs> saying I want to recommend it to you, but if you have a certain number of people you're looking to pull a deer on, you can go and do that. Okay. I see. Now, when the culling season happens, is it like a <laughs> like do they blow a big horn? No, you just uh, hire a couple of teenagers to go out and slaughter as many deer as they possibly can.
Okay. I'm still looking at the stream. I'm looking at the, the chat here to see if people say they're just getting... No one's saying anything to help me. I don't know if you can fucking do. Deer hooves are razor sharp, according to Mars Mellows. Yeah, they'll mess you up. The deer will mess you up. You've seen Diaco. the YouTube video of the deer punching the guy in the face. Don't punch a deer in the head if they have their antlers. They could accidentally stick to you, Doc Coyote says. That's yes. more of me saying my time. People are saying the rat story, Marcus. What? Rat story? Rat story? I'm talking about like when I the time that I beat a nutria to death with a snow shovel? Well, I never heard that story. What it's the heck were you doing that story. for? It's not snow. Yeah. I just yeah, told that's it. not a funny story. That's well, the, the whole story. I'd... Well, why'd you beat a nutria to death? It scared me. Well, but nutria, <laughs> I think nutria are cute. I really do. In another very, world, they're just little, ha they're big hamsters. It's very large. They're huge. Yeah, I was young and still very violent. All right. Can you well, choke a, a deer to death, do you think? Or you think it's throat is You can choke anything good, to death. No, you can't choke a deer to death. You can choke a deer luck. to death. I good bet luck. You, you could choke good a deer. You could, I mean, it would be difficult. Uh, it would be impossible. You can't choke a horse to death. You can't choke a, a deer to death. You can choke a giraffe to death. But you cannot. Absolutely not. You can do, if you choke a rat, to, a giraffe to death, won't you be like, high, is that like high crimes? Yeah. Choke a giraffe to death? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd imagine you go to jail for that. But what oh, if I, I shoot so. a fucking giraffe with the grenade launcher? <laughs> Would they be like, well, this is too metal to be persecuted? It's possible. You could make that <laughs> argument in court. Too metal to, too metal to go away. Mm -hmm. You know what else you can choke on? A dang tortilla chip. Oh. Oh. I did stand-up comedy for 20 years. Oh, my gosh. I never got famous. Oh, right? But I've been in a lot of clubs, a lot of bars and restaurants. I got all their secrets. Here's one you need to know. Tortilla chips. Doesn't matter if it's a uh, supermarket, movie theater nachos. Doesn't matter. It's all the same chip. <laughs> it comes from one place. It's a giant building. It's right by the freeway. It's true. <laughs> Drove by it. Totally <laughs> smells like chips. You can make one kind of tortilla <laughs> chip by the millions and just put it in different bags. So never buy the pricey chips. All right. It's all the same chip. But you're saying I mean, why does it look different? Is why? It's see the bags. This is where they trick you. It's the color of the bag. See, <laughs> same exact chip in these, but well, all I, this yellow crap. The light true. bounces off onto the chip, and over here on the white, it's making them white. I don't know. It's light that's... reflection. You, s you take them out of the bag. Look, boom. That's the same chip. I mean, it's oh, okay. it's from two bags. But then, okay, so you say, not, but some color. chips are crunchier <laughs> than others. That is true. <laughs> Those chips are old. All right, they got to do is hold some back in another back area, six days, seven days. <laughs> kind of in that kind of parking lot area. Right, this is how, also how they do the extra crunchy chicken at the KFC. One time I was waiting, and it was like 30 minutes. And I said, where is it? And they go, oh, it wouldn't still make it. And I'm like, okay, I get it, right? You're in the back fucking burning it. All right, so I've been up here all day huh. looking for uh, chip trucks <laughs> driving by <laughs> to support my theory because then they'd all be coming from one direction if it's all from one building. Um, ain't seen a one. I'm you sweating know. too much for this. God, this, this feels like a wasted day. sunset. Always looks like a nuclear bomb to me, but it still looks good. I would think we should have had a nuclear war. We would be such a serious people by now. You know, no dog whispering, no... <laughs> Well, this man has changed, huh? Nut job type movies with the sassy animals. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder <laughs> if maybe we're stuck living in the most trivial world possible. <laughs> so now you know. Always buy the chip that's on sale because it's all the same chip from the same place. And for the money I just saved you, you should subscribe. What Honestly, is his name? Yeah, there's uh, there's something to it. Pretty good. I, I do think, although some now you have you have different flavors in chips, which he does not address that whatsoever. Also, the thickness of a chip. Uh -huh. You can get a really solid thick chip. Although I do like the ones that he used as an example. Uh, uh, what was his name? That's a guy that goes by not famous yet. So yeah, it's like but, obviously a joke video. But, I don't but know. he's I done mean, a bunch of these videos. I've seen a couple. He's very, very funny. Yeah. He's a, I love this shit. Well, I don't know. He might be onto something with the whole like snack cracker, snack chip conspiracy. Yeah. Travis, if you could, I'd like you to pull up a video. Uh, I don't think we've ever shown on the stream, but we used to play the live scene, uh, lives on the uh, live shows. It's called uh, Ritz Cracker Up Your Butt. 
Yeah, oh. if I remember this. Yeah. But I would say I, I do agree something along the lines of the color of the bag reflecting onto the chip. I do agree with that. I also do believe that there are the... Because one certain massive companies own lo several lines of chips. Oh, and I imagine yeah, most of those chips are made for the same chip batter. This guy is classic. Well, this guy's great. Set. If you want, if you really want to see like some chip conspiracy theory, check it out. It's more of a cracker. Ladies conspiracy. and gentlemen, <laughs> children of all ages, talk about fucking the American people. Talk about the dildo burgers, <laughs> fucking America. Look at what Rich Crackers has done to the American public, ladies and gentlemen. Look, it says Rich Crackers, a hint of salt. What it should say is Rich Crackers, a hint of crackers. Hint of because crackers? When you open the box <laughs> and take out the package and look at the crackers, here's what you see. You see an inch and a half of paper on the top of the crackers, which when you take the box itself, put the, the cracker to the bottom of the box and push it even to the bottom of the box, you have an inch and three-eighths on top of the box. That looks like longer than that. <laughs> Look, you see? You have one and three-eighths of an inch on top of the box of empty <laughs> air space because Rich Crackers is now placing an inch and a half of paper on the top of the... He's completely correct to be upset. He, no, he really is <laughs> nailing it. I don't it disagree with anything like he said so far. Just the top of the box, but in reality, at, it's only, it's short five crackers. <laughs> That's a lot. Five crackers. It's a staple of the American public. And the thing that really pisses me off about this is that for every dollar you spend on food, only 19 cents of it goes into the cracker. See? The rest of it is for the wrapping. Honestly, and he's on to something. Appetite. He's completely so correct. They're taking these rich crackers like this, placing it five crackers short of a sleeve, maybe six <laughs> crackers short of a sleeve, and then they're selling it to you as a full box. Now, they, why don't they just put the five more crackers in and charge you an extra four? And he just goes in. I mean, and honestly, that video, that video is we used, 12 minutes long. We yes. used to watch that video and laugh and laugh and laugh, but now, I don't, I don't like, he I is totally get it. nailing it. making a lot of sense, yeah. It's, five, totally ex, it. it's five crackers. What's well, ridiculous so when you talk about, you it's all about the packaging. That's the exact body I wish to have. And same thing with Alex Jones. It's, you know, Alex Jones has fallen out of favor, but technically he looks great. The beard's bad, but he's just like, how do you get that thick, like very thick body? He's just obese. You have to be obese. Yeah. Yeah, but he is obese, but he's also kind of like thick. You have to like, work out and eat a bunch. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. That's yeah. what I've been doing now is that I'm, I've been, honestly, a, a, a sad part of uh losing kb and all stuff it's a part of it i've been just putting my rage into lifting weights mm. Mm. i mean a lot of food and eating you know, and lifting this as, as hard a weights i could lift right and i right. want to get like that i want to get i want to be like a square yeah 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 well i think you can pull that off that's actually a, it's a it's a negative goal mm -hmm. it's more Is of it? a, yeah you're not supposed to want I don't think that Alex Jones particularly likes the way that he looks. I'm sure that he looks in the mirror at night. He cries a little bit. He loves the way he uh, as many shirtless videos as he has, he's he takes over, his shirt off a lot. Overcompensation. That's what I'm gonna say. That's very interesting because I I think that he should be proud. I don't of care. That. Yes. Uh, what do you think this guy is overcompensating for? Is that, that looks great. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Overcompensated. I think he's undercompensated. <laughs> That's fun. Like, this is artists again. Man. What commitment. This is very interesting, man. He probably got paid to do this. Do you think he got paid to do this? He got a grant. He might have. This might be a grant. He might have actually pulled out a fucking a form and sent it to the government. You know what? I bet this is Canadian. You think this is Canadian? I bet this is Canadian. Why? What gives it away? I, well, you know, the Canadians, they, uh, the government pays a lot. 
for Art. Oh, that's dangerous. This guy does need to be slightly careful. He's being a real Marina Morangovic. Okay, buddy. Do you remember Marina Morangovic? Was he wanted to get like punched in the face <laughs> and stuff, and get her titty slapped, and get shot? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Oh, that's pretty good. This is a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, it's a isn't it? It's spaghetti, right? It's spaghetti, yeah. Having to explain to your girlfriend <sighs> why you did not like. Well, that wasn't a success, I don't know. though. But, but honestly, you didn't pay the rent, or like, where have you been? Or say right. something like, "Well, um, we always go out with your friends. Why don't we go out with my friends on Wednesday yeah. night? Actually, we're gonna go through that." And he's just like, "You know, I'm busy." <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know, I have to do Italian Waterfall Four <laughs> on night. Wednesday. Yeah, because naturally. it's a waxing moon. Yes, and I no. have to be there for it. You know, I gotta say, I like the sound of breaking spaghetti noodles. Yeah. You can do that in your house. Spaghetti. No, I know, I do it. That's how I do. It. I don't put the full noodle in. Yeah, I always break the noodle, pop that in. All right, here's See, some. What you noodle. got, you know, what I've learned now, you use a spoon and you get the hot water onto the rest of the noodles so they don't burn on the side of the pot. Oh, I just break them. Feel yeah. like I'm a strong man. All right, well, here's here's some more art. <laughs> Pretend to be dogs for a little bit. Oh, yeah. go. oh my goodness. Mm. You're a dog. You're on camera. Dog. How would we do that? Puppet Good mind work. <laughs> so I want you to take the word AWK and I just want you to squawk. Squawk any way that it seems comfortable. Just give me some squawks. Ready? Again. Keep going. Put it up here. Here's the bird. Uh, hello. Again. <laughs> Very nice. I was creating an Italian character when the melodic type voice quality was born for me. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. The mama mama makes a pizza. <laughs> this is how I make characters. Again. I do not understand the data. Okay. Hey, okay. This is literally yeah. what I do. Yeah. 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 Stop telling yeah. people how to do yeah. what we do. And let's get it over here in this guy, all right? Yeah. yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. You have to mind it, Henry. Yeah. You're moving your mouth. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. 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 Get out yeah. there and perform. And you too. Well, you can't just cut away and just show the puppet. Ventriloquism. That's not ventriloquism. That's a camera trick that they did at the that end. That is just puppetry. That is just puppetry. That's, That's puppetry. puppetry. Um, yeah. Two bits of information came from the chat. Apparently, that artist with the spaghetti is from Norway, and he is a professional artist. He was paid to do that. Great. Huh. Good for him. And second question, is someone keeps just putting the same question over and over again in the chat, and they are very, very curious. Marcus, they want to know what is your favorite Ween song? That is a large, large question. Choose I gotta say, just name a song. Uh, immediately, I mean, my, my first thought is, is Flutes of the Chi. Love that. I mean, I've never heard of it, but I bet it's right, great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, what does it sound like? <laughs> I'll think about it more, but. You know. Flutes of the Chi. Is this the song? <laughs> Are we done? Goodbye, everyone. Hail That's yourselves. That's me at home when I'm drinking alone. Hail Satan, everyone. It's been a lovely, illuminating uh, evening. Thank you, Titties, for all your hard work. Of course.